Hey, okay, so uh, I've actually got to get packed and ready to go to a gig in like uh, a couple of hours, but still, it takes time to film a video, edit a video, blah, 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 all the things. I just wanted to make a quick video about like the, the most essential, essential photographer's accessory, and it's nothing nothing you'd think that's too exciting, and it's, it's for any photographer. And if you have a digital camera, like a small point and shoot camera, big mirrorless camera, small mirrorless camera, any sort of camera, really, this is the most essential accessory that you could ever pick up, and I'm going to show it to you right now it's this little accessory here if you have an iPhone it's the most essential essential accessory ever now that's because people always ask oh, how do I get my photos off of the card onto my phone like what's the fastest way like there's an app I can download it can I do it wirelessly all that yes you can there is an app for pretty much everything including all the different camera brand apps that are like uh, transfer your files from your camera to your phone wirelessly now that works it works. I'm not going to say it works well, but it does work. The Sony app, the Canon app, the Nikon app, Olympus has their own app. You wisely connect it to your phone directly to the camera. So you link it through like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth or whatever, and it basically just sends the images to your phone wisely. Sounds great on paper. The only downside is these cameras are like super high resolution, 16 megapixels, 24 megapixels, 40, 35, 30, whatever. They're pretty high resolution cameras, which means the files are massive, which means when they're sending these images over Wi-Fi, over wirelessly, it's compressing it down to like a two megapixel, five megapixel image, which is like kind of a waste considering we're shooting on cameras with super high resolution sensors. We're just gonna be throwing all that away because we wanted to do it wirelessly. No, this is a much better way of doing it because it is hardwired in what you do. You just plug the little adapter into the bottom of your phone, take out your memory card. You're just gonna insert it into the bottom of this little adapter thing here. Open up your photos app. In the very bottom, you may have seen it, Right there, import. Here are all the photos that are on this card. And I took a lot of photos yesterday because we went out for my friend's birthday dinner. I'm just going to hit select. It'll select all the photos taken on that day. And I'm going to just hit import. Import selected. As you can see at the very top, there's a little indicator. It's showing you that the photos are importing. And now it says import complete, which I have to delete or keep. I always like to keep just in case the import didn't work. If the import didn't work and they're not on your phone and you've now just deleted them off the card, we don't want that. So I always keep it until I go back into my library. See recent and here are all the photos that we took yesterday. Bam, super out of focus amazing and how easy was that that was super easy super fast super quick we loaded up all of the photos on this memory card straight onto the phone in like what was it 10 seconds i mean pff, impressive right and that's why you need this memory card adapter again they make it for android phones i have it's an apple one still but i have a usb-c one for my macbook for my ipad you could probably use this with an android phone i don't know how seamless it will be with the photo app of choice but with an iphone it is so easy to import and directly download your jpeg files into the photos app if you shoot raw you can import the raw files just remember they're even bigger file sizes and i'm going to show you where i like to import my raw photos on my phone i'm going to open up lightroom photoshop <sighs> of course when i want to make a video it's like hey we're doing some housekeeping all right i've opened up lightroom as you can see it's shown me all the photos imported i do like to try and keep my uh photos organized so i'm going to create new create new album uh what was it james's that's not what i typed James's. We are going to jump straight in. I'm going to hit the little plus button. You're going to do camera connected card. And again, it's going to bring up all of the photos, all the photos on the card. Now, this is a different card that wrote all the raw files. But again, I'm just going to hit the little tick button import. And we're just going to copy all of the raw files straight from the card into the iPhone, ready to edit, post it on social media. This is like the best way to get your photos off of your card, onto your phone, in the field even. If you need to make a quick edit, you're like, what a bang over shot, like you can import it straight onto your phone. If you're like me, carry an iPad around, you can do it straight onto the iPad. Use amazing editing apps that you can now find on these devices and mobile life. You can import all of your RAWs, all of your JPEGs, share them straight from your phone, and it's just, it's, e it's easy, it's so easy. Everyone needs to pick one of these up like right 
right now. If you're a photographer, if you're a hobbyist, if you have the X100 camera and you just shoot like the JPEGs and you want to share them immediately to Instagram, you can import them directly into the Photos app like I showed you before. If you're like me and you'd like to shoot raw and you want to edit the photos in Lightroom and you just want to make it as seamless as possible, insert the adapter, plug in the SD card, open Lightroom, import the photos, done. Alright guys, that was a real quick one I just wanted to make for you today before I go out to do my shoot, got my gig, gotta get the bag packed, gotta get all the cameras packed down, I've gotta get, ugh, it's a whole thing. So if you are a photographer, if you, if you just like shooting JPEGs on your camera and you want to import directly to the photos album so you can like send it, share it immediately, text it, email, Instagram, social media, whatever it is, import it directly into your photos app like in two seconds, oh, it depends on how many photos you've got, I mean, you know, more photos, not what's going to take but at the highest resolution with all the metadata because that's what another great thing about this is that when you import them directly from the card it has all the metadata so you can still see what camera it was shot on what focal length what were all the settings it's just it's so handy and I love it so if you shoot JPEG import directly into the photos app send it have a good day if you're like me you like to edit again you can import directly into Lightroom mobile edit the photo add that little bit of spice add the sauce Mwah, chef's kiss Oh, <laughs> you can do that with this adapter. Android, iPhone, doesn't really matter. There's an adapter, that's the best way to do it. Don't bother downloading that like, Nikon Snap Bridge. Don't bother downloading Canon Connect or whatever app your, your camera takes. Nah, just skip over that part. Buy this adapter, you can import it like faster, easier, just so much better. Anyway, that's all for me guys. Have a good morning, evening, night, and I'll see you in the next one.